Hey guys, Anthony 4 Before Diesel. Just thought I'd do a quick video showing you how beautiful our 120 is. No, just joking. I'm going to do a video on the best 120 in the world. No, 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 just joking. I know, not very funny jokes. We've got the AutoFix 3210 plugged in. I just wanted to show you what we're running on the dashboard and give you a few reasons why and what the standard readings are going to be. So I suppose it's slightly on the diagnostic side if you've got a 120 Prado or a similar version vehicle because what I'm going to tell you that it varies a little bit from model to model so I'll try and give you some info there but we're just going to quickly show you I'm just going to open up that quickly go bang sorry open up that car scanner thing so see how quick and easy that happens once you've got your settings all right and I just want dashboard right and then it goes like that and I just go bang bang that's what I'm looking at okay that's how it sits while I'm driving. Let's have a look at these readings. Now, you've seen on the 150 what we have up on the dashboard. This is what we call the dashboard. This is what I'm talking about. This is called the dashboard, right? Now, this is the dashboard we have on the 120. I'm going to tell you what the difference is and why. Okay. Firstly, the load. I'm not sure if we had it on the other car. I don't care if you have it there or not. It's going to help you. Look, it's, it's an indication of the condition of a lot of things. Mainly your injectors are going to influence that as the load goes higher for no reason. Okay, look, I'll give you an example. I'm going to put the aircon on, right? It's going to go to about 18. There you go. 19. Right, I'll turn it off again. It's going to go back to about 11, 12. Right? The car's not fully warmed up, so it's on 12. If I talk long enough, it'll end up on 11. Because this is a perfectly good set of injectors, right? Now remember, if you've got a 120 Prado and it's at full operating temperature and you've got all the accessories off, this is your best indicator of the condition of your injectors. Automatic, okay, five speed auto. Auto, different autos make a difference. Auto manual makes a difference. And then when you move into the 150s or earlier high luxes or later high luxes, it changes. So this is gonna cover you in a Prado or a high lux let's just keep it simple it's a Prado and the, and the Hilux until later hasn't really got this five-speed auto so this is going to cover you in a 120 Prado from 06 to 09 with the 1kd right see how it's going it wants to go down to 11 unfortunately it doesn't do decimal points Trevor this is something that they need to look at I want a decimal point on the load I don't need it on the ECT the map the math the battery mate, the power, 13 volts. It's either 13, you watch, I'll rev it up, we'll go 14. I hope, or I'll be wrong. Come on, baby, you can do it. There it is. <laughs> there you go, right? So it's not 13 or 14. It's like 13.8 or something like that, right? And until it gets up there, I can tell you what it is. It's really close to 14, but it's showing me 13. So. What I want to say is, under the other parameter, when you look at it on a different screen, it might be accurate. But on this dashboard, having it on 13, it's not helping me a lot, okay? So we need to talk to the developers to see if they can make things better. Now, what have I got up here? I've got the load because it gives me an indication of the condition of my injector. So when I'm at full operating temp and I'm sitting at the lights and I pop it into neutral, if I'm seeing 11 or 12, I'm really happy. If I'm seeing 10, I'm still happy. Any lower, you could have problems. If I'm seeing 13, 14, that's okay too, but your injectors are starting to get a bit worn in and a bit worn. 14, 15, you know, they're still fine, but you need to start saving and you need to start looking at other readings and go, is that the only one that's out? Okay? And once that hits 16, it's time to replace your injectors subject to their age kilometers and what the other readings are okay so it's not an absolute but this is the best reading on any of these vehicles it's not just the 120 150 it's just different readings so on a 150 Prado on a 1kd you're going to see anything from around the 12 13 through to about 15 is normal but I also see them they do that they vary a lot more okay different system that's what I mean it's quite complicated it's even complicated for me so the best reading, most ideal reading you're going to see on a 150 up there is most likely going to be around 15. But beware, it can go at least two or three either way and still be okay. So this is only an indication on a 150 that you've got a problem if it's below 12 or above 18, let's say, as a general guide. Now, 
manual is going to be lower take off about three that's what I mean it gets a bit messy so we'll leave it at that for this video because this video is not about diagnostics so much it's more about what I've got on the dashboard here engine coolant temperature it's handy to know what that is these gauges don't move much in cooler conditions and conditions like this it doesn't matter but if you're towing a lot and you're on hills or in hot conditions you might want to be looking at something like this 85 degrees okay generally they idle at 83 this one idles a bit warm around the 84 85 mark right thermostats kind of like you know NQR not quite right but it doesn't matter because it still does the job as it warms up it still it cools and does the job right it's just the idle temperatures are a degree or two off right that's what you get for buying a new thermostat should have used the old one that's another story anyway map filter well, it's not the map filter it's not, what I say map filter anyway the map reading okay so that's same as your boost right your turbo your boost whatever so you know as you accelerate more boost it's gonna go up right it's gonna go a lot higher than that I'm not gonna test it in neutral but under load you're gonna see 170s and 190s and stuff like that right I'll show you what I mean a neutral load that's all you get here we'll chuck it in drive momentarily car's gonna take off right so and did you see the load the load would have went nuts as well you want to see that again we have created a load okay okay the MAF reading that's how much air is coming past your MAF sensor on your air box right uh, I've told you more about that in other diagnostic videos go back over the last year or two not just videos on YouTube there's a lot of older videos in our Facebook groups that's why they're there okay so now I'm more focused on putting them all on YouTube and sharing them to these groups but in the last few years I used to put a lot on Facebook and you know it wasn't on you only started using the YouTube channel in the last year I've decided it's a good way to organize all the videos and we could just share the relevant ones to those specific groups and it's easier for other people to share out also battery voltage is another handy one okay EGR Pete don't worry about the PCD but just think of it as it's EGR valve pos position or the percentage PCT percentage it's open right now the EGR valve is 86% open or flowing if you like right so as I accelerate that's going to go down not much because there's no load as soon as I back off EGR valve opens 100% to let the boost pressure out right you want to see it again see that time because I put the foot down a little bit more firmly it went zero right as soon as you back off it goes hundred percent lets those turbo gases out if you've got a switched off EGR or a full blank plate there it ain't going nowhere with the plate there it whistles through under pressure there's still a hole there okay but it's small enough to keep everything happy and your intake stays clean that's why it's a perfect solution but again that's another story let's do it again zero so it depends how much load you've got so you can go like this as the load comes off the engine as you you can look at this when you're driving right and you can understand how much you've got to accelerate to keep your EGR valve shut you know that zero factor is shut as soon as you back off 100% open momentarily then it's going to go back to your 80 90% thing depends what vehicle is all I'm going to say there depends what your EGR systems like exactly what that's going to come down to okay with a nice clean EGR system and solution this is what you're going to see right it's beautiful as you accelerate the EGR valve closes because we need the cold filtered air okay so anyway guys that's what I've got on my screen I just wanted to show you that load engine coolant temperature map math battery voltage and the EGR position you know it's different on the 150 we've got some other readings there and I'm hoping that these are going to change soon because I would like to see the transmission temp okay on the 120 and on the 150 through a transmission temp and the DPF countdown to when it's going to do a burn so what would I swap here? I would keep the load, the engine coolant temp. You know, the MAF reading could probably go for the transmission temp and I'd keep the MAP because it's good to know the boost. If you're driving, you can use the load and the MAP 
to gauge your fuel economy. The lower those two numbers are, the load and the map, the better fuel economy you're going to get. Okay. Now, the higher this number, the more the EGR valves open. Okay. So, bit of information for you. That's what I've got up there. How good is this 120 Prada and this steering wheel cover? Just beautiful, isn't it? It's been on there for years. If I, if the same seller was there. I would drop the link, but they're not, unfortunately. And I have used steering wheel covers since then from other sellers I'm not happy with. So you do have to be wary. I can tell you that you only need to spend five or 10 bucks to get one of these, but this is not what the video is about. The video is about the dashboard and you're done and dusted. So I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. That's the AutoFix 3210. Everybody should have one of these units or something similar. I don't care what in your vehicle so that you can read and clear DTCs and it's handy information to have also looking at stuff like this. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Give us that thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, turn that bell on so you don't mix the next mix, 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 you're gonna mix it. You're not gonna mix any, you're not mixing cakes. Don't miss the next most important coming information coming to you. Bada bing, bada boom. See ya, bye!